Hello, this is Arthur Nix with EWKS, and I'm a heavy bid contract trainer, and that's HCSS heavy bid. And today I'm going to talk about coding codebooks, and specifically material codebook, but it can also apply to activity codebooks as well. And if you ever try to code a pretty extensive uh, codebook, it gets very tedious. It's kind of hard to, you know, get the, the numbering right and kind of get a sequence going um, in Excel. And Excel is the best tool to use for doing it. I would never do it inside of Heavy Bid, but uh, certainly would do it in Excel. And today I want to talk about my method that I learned from one of our customers a long time ago. And it's using the concatenate command or concat in, uh, in Excel. And, uh, and if you look on the screen here, you can see the methodology here. I have columns here. I, uh, you can have up to 12 characters for coding, but really you don't need 12 characters, to, especially for a material code book. I would never do that. Uh, you could get by with, with, I have nine, you know, six, seven is probably all that you need. So what I do is, for instance, here's my, my aggregates right here. I decide, okay, I'm going to have all my aggregates start with B, and I just copy that down. And then I have my third character, and I might separate out my aggregates from my sand, you know, my larger rock. And so I might have one and two and threes here for riprap. And then I might, you can see here that I have the, uh, the separation with the, uh, the different levels. And then I continue on with that. Now, you can see here that I really don't need this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blank these out. I'm going to blank these two out. There are actually three out. Let's just do three of them here just to give you an example. And then you can see I also have in this spreadsheet if there's uh, repeats, okay, duplicates, that it highlights them here. So now in, in terms of that, I just usually start with a uh, I can start with a one, two, three, four, five, and now I'm on to the sand. I'll just do the same, and then I'm on to the riprap. So you can see how easy this is to kind of go back and make mass corrections. I, you know, I really, I tell you, I've done enough of these that this is huge. This is huge instead of doing it in Excel, trying to do it this way right here. Now, you can also do it so that if you do an if statement that it reads it and then on the last one, uh, it would put in the level. I do the levels manually. If you look on this spreadsheet and, and you can download this spreadsheet, it'll be part of this uh, on my blog. And, uh, and you can see here which the level right here will indicate where this is in relation to the hierarchy. All right, so level one is the first one, of course. There's level two, there's level three. You can see if I change this on this spreadsheet, it'll pop over. Now, just to give you a little warning on this spreadsheet, if you insert, um, if you go in and insert a line, you know, because you probably would do that. I'm sure I have left this open. This is my kind of default material code book that I give somebody a new user that I'm training. It's it's better than the one that comes uh, in the box, so to speak, with heavy bid. So what I do is when you insert something, not a big deal. You just have to make sure that you can see here, it, it did do it. it. It copied it down, so that's not a problem. And I have to check the next one. Sometimes what I have to do is just copy this down. Okay, that's that's the only uh, one that doesn't work. Um, I think let's just type something in here. And let's put a one. And yes, ma'am. So in this case, actually, all the you know the the actual instructions were copied, inserted in. So it works. But just do a check on that. It doesn't always work. 
You can see here, you can also put in the unit of measure. And so when it comes time to copy here into heavy bid, what am I going to do? I'm going to copy, first of all, J will be my code, right? This is just all building up the code, okay? I'm going to have my level. I'm going to have my description. You could put in a cost, okay? And then you have the unit of measure, all right? So uh, in this case, if, you, if I scroll on down, you can see here I have a lot of, you know, this is kind of for a lot of utility materials. I would encourage anyone who's downloading this to go through it, add a lot of their stuff. And um, you can see here that I had uh, one customer that wanted septic tank materials. I don't have those coded right now because a lot of people don't do septic tanks. Uh, but it just gives you an example here um, of, you know, how you could, you could code. Uh, I got my storm structures. And then I get into my three codes, not very extensive, but I would encourage you to build out your three codes if you have those, your miscellaneous materials, your four codes. Uh, and then uh, a lot of the customers I set up, I will do five as haul. Now remember, you have to have, uh, you should have the, the advanced or comprehensive system. And that will pick up the fives. You can call support and they'll tell you how to specify five so that it shows up as, as hall. Um, you can still use this in the basic version, but it will be rolled up into the three codes. So just be aware of that. You can also put in, if you like, make your own aggregate, make your own asphalt, whatever products. Uh, I usually code those as one. All right, so... And then, you know, you just start off with one and then you put in your, for example, asphalt mixes. So, so I hope this is useful. Again, this is, you know, putting together, this is just using the power of Excel and putting, to, putting this in and then using the concatenate function to add these codes together and then come up with a code that you're going to import in the heavy bid. And you can, uh, again, you can, if you get a duplicate, it will show that up. You, you know, if you import this in, you, you can't, ha you got to have a unique code for heavy bid. So you can't, you know, one will overwrite the other. Uh, so just be aware of that. And then, of course, again, I just want to remind you that, you know, when you review this, you can review on the right-hand side if you got this hierarchy right, you know, so that you can correct that over here. Like I can see here, I don't have this right, so I can put that, and then it shows, it pops it in as a level four. So that's a good check too. All right, well, that just shows you the the method that I use, and, and I hope this is useful for you. I've, I, I've never seen this in any of, you know, any video really that, that is on coding. I learned this actually from an accountant and who's, who was hired temporarily to code a lot of materials at a customer that I was training. So, so again, this is Arthur Nix, EWKS, uh, HCSS, Heavy Bid Contract Trainer.